We're also tracking the aftermath of the powerful storm that swept through our area last night in North Carolina. Moments ago, we learned the National Weather Service has confirmed a tornado touched down yesterday in Gates County. Officials say it was an EF zero and tonight we're taking a closer look at the people affected. News 3 reporter Kofa Lasaki is in Gates County where families are just beginning to recover. It's hard to tell in this massive mess, but if you take a close look, you can see where these down trees took out a power line in Thursday night storm. It's just one of many areas in Gates County that saw plenty of damage. This is what the cleanup sounds like in Gates County. And this is what it looks like. And stuff was flying everywhere. Down trees and debris from one home to the next. Dorothy McCurry watches the crews try to get to the broken power line taken out when a storm moved in. What did it sound like? Like a tornado. I mean, that tree, the real heavy one there, was just fell straight down, and then I saw the other one crack. The hobby house across the street where a coveted train collection lives wasn't damaged, but a few miles away. A limb was in the, in the um, hallway, too. Neighbors weren't so lucky. After the powerful storm ripped through the small community that didn't see it coming. I wasn't expecting that and I didn't hear anything over the phone, no alert, it just went so fast. A tree limb came crashing into the Askew house while Carmen was home alone. I feel blessed that, that nobody got hurt. Several tarps are now tethered to the roof. Four-year-old Levi can barely believe what he's seeing. Standing next to Grandma, they both try to take it all in. I had two holes in the one in the kitchen and one in the utility room, where the tree limb went, went all the way through. With the pile of pine stacked high, six-year-old Charlotte is tackling the debris the best she can. Every helping hand counts to get life looking back to normal. You can always replace things. It might take a while, but you can replace it. As devastating as this damage is, the Askew family says they're just grateful that they still have their lives and thankful that they've had plenty of help from family and friends to get this mess cleaned up.